of equilibrium. Apart from the equilibrium at a price of four rand, see if you can work out what's happening at some of the other prices. Who will be the frustrated market participant in each case, the buyer or seller? If we take the market at six rand, the quantity supplied is 4,200 pieces, but buyers only want 1,800 pieces, so there's more than is needed to meet their needs. They're not bothered, but the producers, who hope to sell all 4,200 pieces, are in a spot, because the market is only taking 1,800. We have what's called an excess supply in the market. The excess supply is the difference between what they plan to sell and what consumers actually bought. In this case, 2,400 pieces of fried chicken. The last thing we want to do is throw away the 2,400 pieces of chicken. So what can we do as suppliers to cut our losses and sell more chicken? Well, the first and most obvious course of action is to lower the price, to try and lure buyers back to consume more. As all the suppliers in the market are in the same boat, sooner or later they'll all do the same thing, or suffer further losses. A drop in price will cause an increase in the quantity demanded. Customers will want more. Now, what's happening in the market is that downward pressure is being exerted on the price. Suppliers are competing with one another to sell more fried chicken, and they do that most often by lowering their prices. And this downward pressure will continue until market equilibrium is reached at a price of 4 rand and at an equilibrium quantity of 3,000 pieces. At this point, the plans of buyers exactly match the plans of sellers.